Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so I'm going to pull a Star Man Tarot for today. Uh, what's the main energy that we're working with for those who are on this journey? And also then I'm going to read letters 85 from the Divine Love Letter books. So these are all channeled messages. So the message that wants to come through today is 85. So first of all, I'm going to say what's the main energy that we're working with today and is the Prince of Cups. <laughs> so the Prince of Cups is about wanting to offer this cup of love. Uh, but it's quite, uh, it's kind of like the shy energy, right? Because it's not quite got to the queen or the king. And um, so it's, it's the youthful offer of love. So the message is, I artfully negotiate for the best solution. The Prince of Cups is the archetypal knight gallant, a gentleman in every sense, honourable, considerate, valiant and noble. Not one to relish violence and battle on any level. He prefers behind the scenes diplomacy. If he must, he will act swiftly and cleanly to achieve the best results for all. A masterful peacemaker and artful negotiator. He is always looking for the win-win solution to problems and his caring, compassionate presence can be a very welcome alternative to bloodshed. <laughs> it takes real effort and concentration, even courage, to keep a flame of exuberance alive in our hearts. Instead of seeing ourselves adrift in a hostile world, we can look and see that everything carries a message to guide us to our most powerful possibility. This, in essence, is the elixir, the medicine, the holy grail. Not an object with miraculous powers, but rather a bit way of being in the world. Once you begin to see things this way, the world literally changes before your eyes. As we travel through life, it's an, in, it's an immense challenge not to be caught in the trap of cynicism. Yet to become cynical and resigned to the way things are, brutally robs us of our life force. Most of us reach a point where we must consciously choose and create discipline of consciously choosing in everything. Albert Einstein suggested we examine the most fundamental nature of life when he said, the most important question you can ever ask is if the world is a friendly place. Every time we resign ourselves to the opposite, we leave behind the spark of life that can be astounded by something new and unexpected. So rise up to the challenge, attain an emotional goal, poetic and romantic. So I can see why that's here, especially because there has been a lot of cynicism um, or a lot of, you know, and it's not cynicism, it's just that thing of, um, I think, thinking that feeling of, I don't think it's ever going to happen. And so that's why this youthful energy has come to offer that little cup of love to say, it's okay, keep on going, you know, your truth is coming and that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to read letters 85 because that is the letter and the message that wants to come through. So the first one, this is 85 from book one. It is, my sweet pea, you give me life. You're like the rain on a really, really hot day and you just need refreshing. You're the air that I breathe and you're in everything I see, feel and touch. I wish that it was easy to come to you, easy to talk about my feelings and easy to take all the pain away. I'm so much in my head at the moment I don't want to be, and I'm trying not to be, but my thoughts just take over. The what if is haunting me. At least I know that I have to do something about it. I can't live in fear. I can't live my life thinking what if, and I never told you how much I love you. I'm going to, trust me, our future is certain. My love is certain. Our love is king. So that song, Our Love is King by Sade. Uh, and that always reminds me of my twin because he makes, he used to make our shades for us, for the lamps. So, right. Um, letter 85. I want you to know that you are my magic stone. The stone that turns my heart from stone to a beautiful, shining, golden, beaming ray of light. Your ray of light is becoming a signal from your heart to my heart. We are beacons of brilliant light and love like a lighthouse on a stormy night, guiding the ships home to safety. We are each other's lighthouse, guiding us back through choppy and stormy waters for us to be home, ashore again on dry land, 
in each other's arms, lying on the beach, living a life of pure freedom in love. Okay, so over the last few days, lots of the channelings have come through about stormy waters and rocky waters and appreciating that it is particularly difficult at the moment. So it's an acknowledgement of what is happening. So that's why it's saying it's it's all right. Just keep going. It is it is rocky at the moment, and that's okay. It's the full moon is coming. It, that's always like a kind of like a roller coaster ride. So finally, he, letter eighty five, book three. Hello, my sweet one, the one that makes me literally smile from the inside out, the one that makes me feel like I mean something that someone really cares about me. You've always made me feel like I'm the only person who means this much to you. It's taken me a long time to allow myself to trust that. I knew that I could always trust in you, but it was always allowing myself to trust in the feelings that I had for you. That's what makes me push you away. It's because I need to learn to trust in me. I'm learning, I'm growing. By you sharing your love with me, I'm learning that I want to be with you. Right, so lovely. And uh, last night I did another channeling, uh, which was basically just saying, what do they want to tell? Um, you know, sort of, well, it was actually to my twin, but I, you know, it's always applicable to everyone. So the message was, I need you to remember all those times, the little things that meant so much, the holding hands, the looking into one another's eyes, the feeling of complete and utter joy and inner peace, the rush of warmth going through my heart, our hearts, and the speeding up of my heartbeat and your heartbeat. All of that is the truth. All of those signs that only we know happen between us. Those are unforgettable. However small, however short, they meant the world. They meant more in those few seconds and weeks than in the entire rest of my life. So don't forget it. Don't give up on me. Ignore me and know that I'm doing what I need to do. I know what I'm doing. I know it might seem like I don't. But remember all the little signs I gave you. The jigsaw, the stars, tough love. So... There you go. It is a message to say this love, you know, the lessons that we're learning, it is tough love. Your twin spirit is a lesson in, you know, loving a uh, tough love, right? Because it's about self love. And, um, and that is, that's, it's a healing journey of the soul, a healing journey for oneself. And our twin mirror is everything to us. And that is tough. So, um, it, that is the message, but I just thought it was lovely, so I thought I will share it. So, remember all those little times. Remember the times that only you had between the two of you. And remember that they were so special and so out of this world that it made you go and research about what it was. What was that connection? Because it's just so crazy and only you know that right and that's what you have to hold on to because that was real that is real and you are on the right path so keep on going all right um i'm just drawn to do a work your light oracle quickly so i love this deck and sing as so we are all here to rise in each other's light let's see it is um i'm just gonna pull the card what wants to come through and it is, look at that, soul family. So again, it is to call in your tribe, know that you're not doing it alone. You are here as part of this soul group, bringing this incredible divine love to the planet to raise the vibration. Um, I've recently been listening to a lot of podcasts and um, try and just, you know, about all sorts of different things. Um, and it's been really interesting because, again, it's about... Actually, it's been a lot of stuff about people's um, experience of awakening. And there's, interestingly, nothing about Twin Flames. It's been about uh, much more about consciousness and expanded consciousness. And uh, it's been really, really good because it's just... Uh, that's just to remember what we're here to do. We're here to raise consciousness and expand consciousness 
and one part of that is the twin flame group that are doing that um, but of course there's so many other ways that everything that this is happening and uh, look at that I just pulled the three of pentacles you know we're creating this really strong foundation it's teamwork collaboration coming together to create a really strong foundation for what the new spiritual truth is right uh, so this is traditionally about building cathedrals but we are, but we're building this virtual uh, spiritual cathedral to create these foundations for these new relationships, a new way of living and a new world. And that is quite amazing. So there you go. I love that soul family. And also look at that underneath it is the star seed. What lights you up? So what's lighting me up at the moment is all of these podcasts. I'm kind of quite tempted to do a podcast myself. Let's see, maybe that's something for the future. Uh, but yeah, it's been really, really uh, interesting. So I hope that helps and um, I will be back. So if you want a healing, a reading or a channeled letter, all details are in the link. If you want an Akashic Record reading where I go into Akashic Records and you can ask eight questions. And it's basically the Akashic Records are a record of everything every every universal truth every soul truth for every single entity on this planet and uh so they are they were written by archangel metatron and they're a record of everyone's past present future and um and universal truths and so it's just i guess that's why i've been led to this other sort of path at the moment so it's very uh yeah it's all interesting so I hope that helps and if you need any help then please do get in touch. All details are in the description box. Alright, take care, have a great day, bye!